But first, we do have Fargo and his tattoos. He is a sailor, after all. He's always allowed to have them. No matter the time period, tattoos are acceptable for sailors. Well, that was an attack I wasn't expecting. And then he misses that one? Are you kidding me? All right, we got the slice in. They're going for the shadow again. In case we haven't seen it enough times already. And they're going for links with it. If they hit anybody else with it, they would probably do damage. But they hit links instead. What is their problem? All right, hit him with that. And then we'll have to go for the level three thing now. We will pillage, plunder, opponent's treasure. Let's see what the shadow cat has on him. Probably not much. I got a demon charm out of it. That's something. All right, uh, we'll just continue trying to show off Fargo today. It's a very similar animation to the pilfer that Kid had, the pillage. If they had better selection of who they attacked, they, they could actually stand a chance of winning. So even Grobic, who is the same level, even him, or sorry, the same color. Even he would receive damage, but just not Lynx. I don't think that's asking too much. All right, Fargo, you are up. Let's hit the other guy to make sure he lives. Check out. No, we'll do the one, two, three. Yeah, we can do the one, two, three. All right, there we go. Let's fire some cannonballs. Call for some port fire from the SS Invincible. Go for it, Fargo. hundred and forty two across the board. It's not the strongest. Grobic, you're you're up. Oh come on come on, Grobic. Th yeah, just slap him. Go for your three. I don't care. Like I said, we've seen you before. Nice hair poke, Grobic. You have won to the the day with your hair poke. Such a weird thing. Alright, more resistance for Fargo. Uh, more strength resistance and magic resistance for Grobic. Sure, I'll take it. They're still not up to Lynx's level, but they're kind of getting there a little bit. Uh, but that is it for what I wanted to show off here. Like I said, I do love Grobic, and we will get a chance to use him later. It's just that with, with Lynx in the front, I, I can't bear to have two uh, people of the same elemental color in the party, so... Mm. But maybe we'll get a chance to use him later. In the meantime... It's time to switch the party out for another party, and then we can head somewhere where we kind of just were. Back outside Viper Manor with two elemental color yellow people in my party. We have Norris and Zoa, as I kind of just implied. Uh, there's not going to be any fighting. We're going to head back to Viper Manor. Uh, when there's no fighting, it doesn't really matter who's in the party, does it? We can head in. What do you guys have to say now? C Commander, when did you get out? Are you guys addressing Norris? He's my subordinate officer. I'm in charge here. You address me. What, what do you have to say about yourself now? Huh? What is to become of us? <laughs> Please exit through the gate. Uh, apparently, he's having an existential crisis because they... What? I don't know. They might have figured out what's going on in Viper Manor or something. What do you guys say? Commander, is the meeting over? Once again, you address me. I'm in charge around here. Please go on through. Please, by all means, go on through, sir. Now, having Norris gives you a little bit extra dialogue this time. It didn't before, though. All right, so our first stop today is over to the right here. Remember, there was a treasure chest that we could not open because Zoa was not in our party. Well, it only took a little bit of time, but Zoa's in our party. However, him being in your party is not enough. You still cannot open the treasure chest. There must be a way. Only I could open that! So, you have to hit select until he's in the front. Then you can open it just fine. And we have received Zoa's level 7 tech, Toss and Spike. This is... Quite a nice one, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and allocate it. Uh, it will actually allocate for him now. Let's see if we can't find it on the list here. Just looking for the symbol. That's the easiest way. There it is. 
throw foe high in air, then beat him back down. Oh, you're damn right. We're going to show that off. Go ahead and equip that right there. The only level seven slot that he has. All right, let's continue on. We'll uh, show that off pretty shortly. Uh, it actually comes with a double tech for once. Oh, and I have access to use it. I get that some of you guys forgot that there were double techs in this game. It's been so long since I've shown one off. We haven't had access to any to this whole time. That's how few there are in the game. All right, let's head over to the left. We need to talk to Norris with Norris. How you doing, Norris? I'm fine. How are you, Norris? Please take this, Norris. I no longer need it. And we receive Norris's top shot, his level 7 tech. Unfortunately, Norris can't equip it. He's only, he's only got two level 6 element slots. He doesn't have a level 7 slot. We have decided to withdraw from here. We shall be returning to the mainland in due time. I must be off. So we do have another level seven tech, even though we can't equip it. Let's go ahead and look at it. We can do something with it. Yeah, he's not necessarily equipped properly anymore, is he? There's a few slots open. All right, there's top shot. Fires a concentrated ball of, ener of aura energy at a single foe. Once again, cannot equip it for the time being. Also comes uh, with a double tech, uh, but I don't have access to the other part of that tech right now either, uh, but we will show that off at some point, maybe after a couple more boss fights, uh, so that he can actually equip it. But that is really what we came here for, but there is another room that is open to us that was not open before. Really, any time that we were here. So let's head up and see what awaits us over to the right here. There has always been a robot here. First, it was just the yellow one, and then it was that upgraded one that was not all that strong at the end of the day. But we have access now to head to the other tower. This screen, of course, mirrors our little journey to the library, but we're going to the right this time. And here we can find a puzzle room, kind of. It says, respect my behind. Is that, is that some kind of insult? Are you saying there's no respect? But pretty easy to figure out what they're asking you to do here. I don't know why there's a little movement of people after I put each one in there. All right, come on move. These things like stick to you sometimes and other times they don't. All right. Everything's in position. Up comes the treasure chest. But remember what the clue said. Respect my behind. So we'll head behind it and open it from behind. Otherwise bad things happen. There's a letter inside. There's a good reason why we borrowed the contents. If you want it back, Come to the Isle of the Damned and bring Sir Karsh. Signed, Salt and Pepper. Pepper, sorry. Not, not Pepper. Pepper. Hooray. It's a trap if you uh, open it from the front. How much does it do? Does it... Oh, well, we fell. I thought it did damage, to be honest with you, but uh, we've been here before. Not that big of a deal to get out. Is the prison still open? Should be. Yeah, it is. Uh, so that is all that we wanted to do here. Uh, not that big of a deal if you have never opened that treasure chest with salt and pepper's, pepper's note inside before. You could easily have already known to go back to the Isle of the Damned. Uh, but that is a future destination for us for the time being. Instead of taking care of that right now, what we are going to do is head back to the fortune teller. We have quite a few new party members with us. Uh, once again, I believe Grobick already got his uh, fortune not told to him, but uh, we attempted it. Commander, will you be leaving? Yes, I will. So I have to run away so you can open this damn thing.
let me out of here. So we're going to bring our new party members and have their fortunes read to them. I'll meet you when that's all set up. Back at the fortune teller, Viper is up first. What do you have to say about the general? You will continue to be the rightful lord that you are. But I... This is no fortune reading. It is my opinion as one who has lived longer than you. So for the second time in a row, she doesn't actually read a fortune. First time she just says no. This time she's like, yeah, this is just my political opinion. Riddell is up next. Deep devotion often makes the impossible possible. I suggest that you keep holding on to your purity. What? Yes. Did she just tell... I'm going to stop thinking about this and I'm going to bring other people along. That creeped me out. Next up we have Zoa. I sense deep sadness beneath that mask of yours. In the near future, you too shall find your sanctuary of peace. Well, I guess that's actually some good news for Zoa. Eventually. Marcy's up next. Please don't say anything about purity. The reading says your wish will come true if you purge of your likes and dislikes. I'm not even sure that was phrased properly, but sure, you purge of your likes and dislikes. I don't understand, but we're moving on. And finally today we have Fargo. What do you have to say for him? Take away the mirror of falsity and reflect your image upon the mirror of truth. You will then regain your true self. Interesting. We might know what that means, or at least we have an inkling of it. All right, we are done here at the fortune teller, so we are going to head to another optional location, and I'm bringing Zoe along so that we can uh, show off a couple texts that are now available to us.